Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I was at a um, Gurdwara. It means the, the door of the Guru and, and by Guru is meant uh, the way from darkness into light. So uh, anyway, I was at one of these um, um, events and uh, it was beautiful. All the people were very devoted and um, I was sitting in the very, very back, along with a very nice lady about my age, uh, who was showing me what to read and what to sing and like that, and what was coming next and what was expected of me. And so behind her and to the left of her was um, I, either a mother or maybe a grandmother with a little boy of about mm, two years old, I guess, just having learned to walk, maybe two and a half. And... Um, I think it was him that was that talked to me. It was a sweet voice of his soul that spoke to me during the service, and we and I was mulling over the the notion of of the demon world, which I've discussed in prior blogs, and um, I was just wondering what was the best protection for everyone in the world about that. And then I heard the sweetest voice speaking. And uh, it's, it, either it was an angel or it was the, the, the beautiful souls of that little child there. And it said, it said, it, I'll try to say it sort of like they say it. Um, when the animals come around, say, may the air fall asleep. So immediately I tried it and it worked wonderfully well. It's, it's, it's a prayer, I think. It's a prayer um, and, it's a, and it also represents a very deep understanding of what is, what is going on with, that, with that, um, that kind of energy. First, the, the person or, or spirit that spoke to me, the innocent spirit or soul that spoke to me said, it called the demon world animals. And I had never thought of that exactly before because the demon world thinks of itself as, as handsome men. That's how they think of themselves. We are, we are the army of the night. We are a tribe of handsome men like that. And, and nothing I could ever say could dissuade them. But here we have the voice of some, some wisdom far beyond mine that said, that calls these beings animals. And, and I think that that is essentially correct because though they are very, very bright and cunning, though they have all of that, all of that wonderful left brain ability of ours trapped in the, in the, um, in the, in the trap of cause, causal reality, of cause and effect, nevertheless, there are more like animals very bright, very cunning animals because they don't have souls like ours. We humankind are those gifted with the eternal soul. So that's one thing that I derived from that from that talk. And the other is it's not so much really the presence of other entities. It's really about our own aura our own electromagnetic field. So when a person says, may the air fall asleep, what they're really saying is, may my electromagnetic field be, be smoothed and softened and calmed and, and set right. And so, and so I think that's why, because from the higher understanding, not of cause and effect, but of my soul, my energy fields, all my bodies, representing and aligning with the divine will and the divine love and the divine um, vision. Uh, in that way, all this play of duality falls asleep and, and we become that which is far beyond that. We remember who we really are. So what words of wisdom? When you when the when the animals come around you say 
May the air fall asleep. <laughs>